They say when money enter, everything scatter. Oh, yes, so that's life for you. You don't really know people until they make money. Trust me, you don't. You can't so call someone humble until the person is in a position of power and is still humble. Then you can tell yourself, oh, this person is humble. But before then, forget it. So today we're going to be analyzing the case of. Um, Mark Angel comedy and Denison. Usually, I try not to talk about topics like this, but I'm going to be talking about it from my own personal experience because I have personally experienced this. When I saw um, what's his name, um, Denison, on that podcast talking, like I was watching it back and forth. I had to go back. Like I remembered him because I had followed Mark Angel for a very long time when Emanuela trended for "Is this my real face?" So when he spoke about the things that he came up with, I'll go back and I'll see that video with the millions of views, and I remembered him. I was like, "Oh yeah, we remember this guy. He's been here." But for some reason, I thought he was still there because I haven't been following it. You know, they were the first set of people to start before. It became really rampant. So we're going to talk about like certain things they said in the podcast. This is one of the best episode of this podcast that I have ever enjoyed. Yeah, because we got to learn aside from him telling his story. So Denison spoke about certain things here. He spoke about how he was an orphan. He lost his parents. So his sister took him to go and stay in Mark Angel's house. Now he was like a houseboy. If you grew up in a typical Nigerian home, you know. I mean, this happens a lot. Most times when people lose their parents or when their parents cannot fund them, they look for relatives to keep them with or just distance um family members or something and they stayed there so now why am i saying this as a houseboy he didn't know any better he didn't have a say according to him allegedly again because we haven't heard from mark angel's side but according to him that mark angel used to work at K- kilimanjaro as a gate man when he came there and that the first story that they actually did he came up with the idea because somebody had told him the story he used to go to the church and use the church camera when he's done with the church stuff he'll use the church camera come back tell them to film it he spoke to mark angel about it and according to him mark angel even stopped working and started working now now this man we are talking about if you know mark angel comedy is one of the in the space of nigerian comedy he's the first person to get the one million playlist he has achieved a lot of success when it comes to social media i'm talking youtube facebook as far as social media is concerned, Mark Angel is one of the champions of social media. And he used to do this with Emanuela and the Denison. So he's still doing it with Emanuela today. Now, this Denison I'm talking to you about, he has videos on YouTube that has millions of views on the Mark Angel's channel. But this man can barely meet up with his house rent. He said a lot. I'm going to be linking the podcast if you haven't seen it because you really need to see it. He had a lot to say and he even made some calls like called the pastor of the church where they used to take the phone from, where they used to take the, the camera from. He he called another guy who used to act with Mark Angel and that one was even saying that his own house rent is even due a hala problem. But anyway, I want to talk about this because in every situation is an opportunity for us to learn. Because like I said, this happened to me. Now, I saw a lot of comments as well of people saying things like, if you started it, why are you broke? If you started it, why haven't you been able to do this? In life, especially in the movie industry, in the entertainment industry, everybody has different gifts. There is a reason you have a director. There's a reason you have a producer. There's a reason you have a writer. And there's a reason you have... um, the finance person for the film because you cannot do it all you might have the idea but you don't have money to film you might have the money but you're not a good director you might be a good director but you're not an actor when they say it takes a village that's literally what it is so if he's saying that he took the idea to mark angel and now mark angel is successful not him it is 100 percent possible because you know why mark angel could have had a better business sense business opportunity there are some people now that back in the days what are we saying that knew better than us when it comes to contracts right i have a sister who studied law before my sister studied law 
my sister has always been big on contracts. It's so big that even if you and her, her blood sister, wants to go on with an agreement back then, like growing up as kids, my sister wants to bring something for you to sign. She has always been big on it. Personally, I have been big on trust. When I wanted to get into the entertainment industry, I met one of the most prominent Nollywood directors and producer. His name is Mr. Teko Benson. I met Mr. Teko Benson and I told him that I wanted to email him a script. So he was like, oh yeah, we got talking and all as we were talking. I said I'd emailed him the script. He said, oh, you didn't even give me anything to sign or something, you know. And I was like, oh no, I know you, I trust you. And Teko Benson was like, that was one lesson he taught me at this time when I had just come back to Nigeria. He said, don't think everybody's you. Just because you might have the decency of not taking someone's script when they send it to you and film it doesn't mean other people will do it. So please, in this industry, do not just give out your script like that. Always have a written note. And I was happy I did that because the, shortly after that, I met a movie producer who wanted to produce my film. And because of my experience, we had an arrangement and we signed. Not that I was so um into the whole thing i still had my mistakes you know but then because of that thing teko benson said i had signed now we're looking at someone like denison who at that time came to let me just say his madam's son like he said mckenja was his senior mckenja was you know they were the owner of the house so how dare you even come to the owner of the house son to tell him bring now let's sign this and at that it's going to take the grace of god for you to know that you guys are going to be making that kind of money now mark angel might have seen it some people are very you know some people have foresight like my friend <laughs> some people have foresight how many years ago there's some people now for instance in this youtube space people like dima that started it before anything like monetization even came in so there are people that have foresight and one thing about the entertainment industry any sort of content right you're just happy to be out there I've been there, so I know. You're happy for your work to be shown. It didn't matter. Like, at some point, it's even better for you to be working from working for um, for someone. Like he said, he was going to go and do me now job. And just let people know you. Let it be putting out your video. Let it be sharing it. Like, there was that joy that it gave him. So, it was very realistic for him to say that he didn't even know he was making money. Because some people can be so oblivious about things like that let's not use our own self to judge someone just because if it is you you will know again remember background and all really matters this is someone that's an orphan that came to work again like i keep saying allegedly because i don't want to bite my tongue i don't want mark angel to come back with a different story while we're still waiting for a story so this is not really about mark angel and dennis and this is about the lesson we learned from them because why i said i really like this podcast was that the lawyer they brought a lawyer and the lawyer after re reading the contract she said she thought she kept emphasizing educate yourself know better okay this has happened now because when she looked at that contract she said wow anybody that advised him did well and that on in on that show something was also mentioned i'm trying not to forget it i said when you're in an agreement with someone and they bring when they are the first to draft the contract whether you like it or not the person is planning to protect their self not you little ideas or in your head what you think is so little <laughs> okay let's talk about something like the person that came up with this idea for coke that helped coke to really make a lot of sales when you saw it it might look like oh it's just an idea to write names you know the one they had where like for instance my name is sarah ogechi donald and then they had the name so i went out and like to the supermarket i bought sarah i bought ogechi i bought donald i bought my sister's name you know even though i'm not so much of a coke drinker i was buying a lot every time i see my name because i was just something about you taking your name i'm putting on the picture i'm taking a picture and just putting it on social media i felt like coke personally knows you especially when you're able to match your first name and your last name that's a brilliant idea but you do not know the process the person took to come up with it so when the person came up with it i don't know he might have felt like he or she might have felt like oh wow this is an idea in my work carelessly and you know just go to sell the idea to coke 
But if it's someone who has been exposed to the industry, who knows their worth, who you know has gone through all that stage, who knows that to come up with an idea is not being, he might have done his research by saying, you know what, this is my idea, this is what I'm going to get from it, this is the percentage and all. So at that point, of course, I am not surprised that they did not know. There are some people, right, like I am from the Igbo speaking part of Nigeria, one thing they know Igbo people with, you see, you see one Igbo man, he will not know how to speak English or any of those fancy things. But you see money, he will count his money. <laughs> he will know his money. There is this apprenticeship thing that they used to do then. You will tell a young person to give you calculation, how much was sold, how much is this, blah, blah, blah. Their, their profits, they will break down everything to you. But if you give them another subject like English or what, they will not do it. But they were good at that. So Mackenzie could have been those sort of business-minded people who knew, who saw far. Because when, like I said, when Mackenzie started making money on, on Facebook, people did not even know that there are ways to monetize it. Then with the Manuela situation and everything. So what I really learned from this thing, which is something that has happened to me before, is one, always give room for your contracts to be reviewed. If you do not... If you cannot pay a lawyer, make friends with a lawyer. Have someone review it. They'll, like have someone, that's a, a case I was going on recently. And then um, I, I read about it on social media. I know how the girl was able to escape it. The judge said that something about the signature was not honored by a lawyer. So something like that, like I can't really remember. So it favored the girl because she had actually, like it's the whole thing. It's almost like she doesn't own herself. So some of you might be watching it and listening to this drama and say, it can't be me. Doesn't he know better? It can't be me. But you're doing business with your husband. You're doing business with your wife. You're doing business with your relative, but you don't have contract. You know one of my best words? I love you. Sign this. A lot of us will not have been in certain situations, not just sign this don't just sign a contract sign a contract that favors you meaning how do you know it favors you you must give it to someone a lawyer to review like i said if you cannot afford a lawyer if you cannot afford a lawyer make friends with a lawyer and give room for review so let's say instead of signing a six-year contract a two-year contract you sign three months give here for a review i'm like you know there's something else they said in the podcast that i like he said most of these things started with friendship i'm in the industry so i know this a lot of it is friendship a lot of it is oh let's come together let's do this you're not even thinking far you're not thinking far a lot of us just feel like no this person is my friend no this person has my back there is no way in the world this person will make it and i'll not but i want to put it to you that not everybody thinks like you not everybody's out there to help you not everybody's out there to bless you some people once they make money some let me tell you some people are so selfish that they don't even want their sister their blood sister to be successful how much more you and when it comes to contract things like okay let's say tomorrow because uh, some people will argue oh you are employed you are paid but then there's a part where humanity comes up where unfortunately it's not everybody that has that example my friend was giving me an example yesterday when we were talking about this she said okay for example now you do videos and then you decide to make a video with your help you're already paying her as a help but you guys decide to do a q a and a and somehow that q and a blows what happens you shot it with your money right you shot it with your equipment the location is your own everything but does that stop you from saying, oh, I made $500 from this video. Okay, it took me, let's say my cousin, it took me XYZ to film it. It took me, because let's say you invested, because someone also asked, what did you invest? You know, you inv I invested my camera, I invested in this, so this is what I'm taking out. But it will not stop you from saying, take this amount of money. You will not just say, oh, because I am already paying you as a staff. Because that's what a lot of people do. Even people that typically work in corporates. They don't know, they don't even, a lot of people don't even have employment letters. Like, like she said, that, okay, this is your contract is referring to you as an employer. Where is your employment letter? 
Yes. Because some people, again, like I said, some people employ you and feel like, okay, because I've employed you, anything you do within that employment. Man, I was, when she was reading that lesson, I was like, wow. The thing even said that you do not even have the right to, you know, sue and stuff like that. So, yes, everybody wants to protect themselves because let's also face it. There are also greedy people out there. There are greedy people out there both ways. There are people as well that you're the one that will come up with the idea. You're the one that will film, they will show, and then they will get greedy. Let me give you an example. I was watching a YouTube video, and this couple, they were fighting because they had a, 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 a couple channel. So they were fighting about who does what, whose work is this, and blah, blah, blah. And the girl was like, oh, the girl will come and make her video. The girl will make his own because they both have access to the account. And, you know, the girl was like, I do everything. I film, I shoot, I, I, I shoot is filming the same thing. I film, I come up with the idea, all he has to do is sit down and make the videos. Hmm. When the guy made his own video, what did he say? He said, this is it. We have a daughter that is a special, that, you know, she requires special attention and all that. So I am the one that typically takes care of the child I put the child to bed. Like he gave his own itinerary, and this is how they make money. So people prefer watching them when they are a couple, so he shows up. And I'm like, this is actually the problem with service providers. When I mean knowing your what and speaking to a lawyer is very important. Some of you feel you're not entitled to things because you did not physically put money there. Because he was asked, did you finance it? He said, oh, we didn't really pay then. First of all, him as a person, what is his artist fee if they had to pay him? What is his fee as a writer? He was taking camera. If they had to rent cameras every day, how much is it? The day he said he felt that he doubled as a light person, meaning he was doing the light, how much is it to light? I remember that scene from Madea when the lady said, oh, I'm getting, that she's getting a divorce. What do I even bring into this home? And Madea said, how much for every time you've cooked, for every time you've slept with him, for every time you've done this, for every time you've, you know, was naming. For every time your body had to go through this and that. And like, she was naming the things. And the woman, because she felt like she didn't physically bring cash, that she wasn't bringing anything to the relationship. But she was bringing, which is why I think 50-50 is a scam, but that's a conversation for another day. I only believe in partnership. I believe that if more people could partner, because you're bringing your strength, my strength. I don't like all this movie produced, directed by one person, this, this, this. I believe that if we come together, I believe that everybody doesn't have to be a CEO. Some people are meant like to show your strengths in different um, places and together we all come and make it amazing but we should also be aware of the right partnership i have been burnt once because i believe that you know that's the way you believe something you cannot believe that's it's not things you will sign you know you some people are really okay like was mentioned that, that like it was mentioned in that podcast believe you me some people are okay with them living lavish lifestyles and you are just like under their shadow they are okay with it they don't mind they are okay with it so the the earlier you know that the more you start looking out for your own self and lastly there's something i wanted to also address people a lot of people said oh this has happened you know why not just move on trust me it's not easy yes one of the best things that happened to me in life was forgiving myself for allowing myself to be cheated forgiving the person without the person even knowing and moving on but it's not easy it's not easy it's not easy when you see something you have built making money every day and you can barely eat it's not easy because starting all over especially like if his claims were true it's not easy and if you have started all over before you know that it's not easy now it's not easy even sometimes you want to start something like he said that for a while his pages were even shadow banned so he had if he didn't come out now and tell the story people will not know him ah starting again and again, like I said, some people might not, he might not even have the business sense. He might not even know how to go. There's a lot to do with it. Like, I really hope and pray that if, if these things are really true, I keep saying if, because allegedly we have not heard from Mark Angel, that if it's really true and that any other person listening to this or following all this thing that is going through the same, that you just remember one thing. 
regardless of who it is. That person that is sleeping with you at night, holding you, can turn their back on you. That's why I keep talking about financial freedom. Yes, your blood sister can turn your, their back on you. Your blood brother, your mother that gave birth to you. We've had <laughs> their stories. I was watching a video with my mother one day where this lady was the surrogate mom for her daughter. And she said that she doesn't want to give the daughter back the baby because she's now attached to the baby. Mommy was like, I don't understand. Like, that's your grandchild. Regardless, we are watching it on TV. Betrayal. So you can be betrayed by anybody so even if it's somebody that when you're done sleeping at night you wake up in the morning and say yes we're done it's business time i love you sign this or oh, you want me to sign this okay let me have someone review it think about like when you're doing business think about the worst that can happen think about the worst case scenario because the devil works harder trust me like look at this contract now again if it's true they had already planned ahead of time to say you have no right. Do you know what it means for someone to think about all those things? They work over time. So you yourself too have to work over time. And I just pray for anybody that's just ever been cheated, like I said, or is in this situation that you find peace. And, you know, Dennis, that he finds peace, that he finds his strength to to really move on, right? Like, to just mark my comments, he might not. But at the end of the day, like I said, it's not really about Mark. It's also about us every opportunity or every story that comes out like this is an opportunity for us to look back and if we quickly need to correct something now i mean let's let's start correcting it now it's never it's never too late to start again thank you so much for watching please share your thoughts below in the comment section and thank you and stay blessed